Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and good morning. It is January 4th, it's Monday. And I have a really productive day ahead of me. I have a lot to do today. So I thought I would just pick up the camera and vlog some of it and take you guys along. Basically, I just woke up like at eight and then I did a quick workout because I'm trying to work out every morning before I start school. We just got like an exercise bike. So I used that and then I did like an ab workout. And I took a shower and then I just got ready. Also, I kind of put a little makeup on because my skin has been really breaking out recently. And also, I just got this new devotional book and it is so good. It's just called New Morning Mercies and it's a really good devotional book. So I'll try to link it down below. You guys want to check it out. I just did the January 4th reading and it was really good. And it's just a quick like devotional book. It's just like a page a day type of thing. I totally recommend this and I really love reading this in the morning. And now it is like 10 o'clock and I'm going to do my Spanish homework. I'm taking a Spanish class right now. My semester doesn't start till February 1st. So I'm doing a Spanish class at like my local community college. There's only 13 days of the class and I've already had two classes. So I only have like 10 days left. It like literally ends next week. The assignments are like four hours or five hours per day. I ate breakfast and so now I'm gonna my Spanish work, make lunch, make coffee. I woke up in like such a good mood today. It's a good day. Also, happy 2021. I didn't say that yet. <clears throat> this is my first video I'm filming in 2021. It's pretty cool. Happy New Year to you guys. I'm wishing you guys like a good, healthy and happy year. And it's just gonna be a good year. I know it's gonna be a good year. I might share some of my goals later on. We'll see how I'm feeling. Okay, so I'm gonna do my Spanish work. and Let's get to work. Outfit of the day, check, fit check. Nike sweatshirt and sweatpants. I wear this every single day. I just got these blue eye glasses for Christmas and they're literally amazing. Like if your eyes get strained easily from staring at the computer, these are so good. And it came with two. They're from Amazon. I think it's like the first one when you search it up. Spoiler alert, it did not take me three hours and 31 minutes, it took me six hours. <sighs> La mochila. It's been like a couple hours. It's two o'clock now. So I'm still doing my work. It's been taking me literally forever and I still have these to do. I'm almost done. Glare. I'm gonna take these off because the glare is so bad. It's been a while since I vlogged you guys. I have such a bad headache now. So I decided I was gonna make myself some coffee. I'll show you guys how I make my coffee. I make it the same every day. I really wanted to buy coffee today, but I was like, mm, no, let's just make it at home. I have these like acai freezer type of things from Costco. They're like acai bowls, but put them in the freezer and then you just set them out to thaw for like an hour. They're just like pre-packaged. Now I'm gonna make myself coffee. Oh, another thing I have to do today for to mention is I have packages that um, I have to send out so I think I'll send those out soon but first I need to eat because like my head just hurts so bad it's currently 2 30 yeah we're almost done with my school though cue the coffee montage this is the secret ingredient I use french vanilla and peppermint just like a tiny bit of each and it makes like such a good peppermint iced coffee so good Okay, so I made my iced coffee. It's amazing as usual. And then this is the acai bowl. And I added these organic flax seeds and chia seeds. And then I also added just a little bit of granola. And this is my acai bowl. I'm really excited to eat this. I'm so hungry. And I'm going to eat this while I finish my Spanish work. Hey guys, so it's been a while. I just finished my Spanish homework. Like, 
20 or 30 minutes ago. It's currently 5.45. My day kind of hasn't been super entertaining or anything. I literally was just doing schoolwork. I was just thinking that I want to do a little bit of like self-care. Lately, like my skin has been breaking out. I've been really stressed recently. And also I've been working so much. So I've been really like overworking myself a lot. So I just wanted to take some time to myself tonight since I don't really have anything to do. Self-care for me is like being very creative. Like I love painting. I love like journaling, everything like that. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to paint a little bit. I was doing some stuff on Procreate because my mom just got an iPad and I've always wanted to use Procreate and I've been using it and I've been doing like so many designs. I just want to share with you guys some of my new year's goals. A lot of my goals are kind of similar to last year's goals that I had. One of my goals is to work out and be consistent about it because last year I was working out like all during the beginning of quarantine summer and then I just like stopped end of summer and then fall. So I really want to be consistent actually with it. Oh, one that's super important to me is to deepen my faith this year because last year I really, really grew my relationship with God and really like deepened my faith. And I want to do that even more this year. So that's why I got like a new devotional book. I'm going to try to have like quiet time every morning and just make that like a set part of my routine. I also want to like set up a notebook for my devotional. So I might actually do that tonight too because I want to do that. Just like less screen time and just like do more of what brings you joy and remember to take breaks and not overwork yourself because I'm a perfectionist and like I always need to get everything perfect when I'm doing something. So those are just some of my goals. Also in my journal, I wrote all the positives from 2020. I think over the weekend I did this. I'm not going to share them all because a lot of them are super personal. I did have a lot of positives. I just want to quickly have like a little pep talk with you guys. I know last year was so so hard for so many people. It was just hard I think on everyone. I just want to first of all send out all my love to you guys. I feel like no matter what I could still take some positives out of it and I like to try to look on the bright side of everything. So I wrote some positives and I actually thought of so so many and I feel like a lot of these things kind of go unnoticed once I thought about it you know there's so much to be grateful for. And I encourage you guys to do something like this and I'm just so blessed and thankful and yeah, I'm so thankful my loved ones were healthy last year. I was healthy. My family, my friends, they were all healthy and that's all that matters to me. And if they were all healthy and happy, then that's all I can ask for. And there is so much to be grateful for. One really big thing from last year is that, I said this before, I really deepened and grew my faith, which is something that is incredibly important to me more than ever now. And um, I value that so much. That's my little talk i've been talking for so long later i might do a face mask because let's treat ourselves i want to make like hot chocolate tonight because i have these like bombs that you put in milk and it makes hot chocolate and it's like so good okay so i'm gonna paint and i'll talk to you guys later